All right, so we're back. Um, so yeah, let's go back so I can show you guys. Here's Fruit Ninja again. I'm going to go ahead and dump it. All right, so now we're going to go back. Gonna start dumping the game. I do remember, like, I'm on uh, the Flow's Twitter page. And, uh, I think I was just looking in the wrong area for the, uh, I think I was looking in the wrong area for the, the dump. Okay. Uh, and it might just be something with this game. Like, uh, I'm not entirely sure. Because it is supposed to... Okay. Now, I didn't do this before, so I think I just screwed up something. Now the game's dumped. Now if we go into molecular... Now I think it should be in a different file and not in the vitamin file. We go to... We go to this one. I think it's in patch. I think this is the game right here. Hmm. I don't know. I think that's the actual game itself. But let's go to Vitamin. It should be there. There it is. Let's go ahead and uninstall the game. Okay, and there's <clears throat> Minecraft again. Now, that is a, a larger game. So I, I will try that uh, probably in another video. Try to dump that game. <clears throat> okay, so... Go back to molecular. Go to vitamin. Let's try to, oops. Try to install it now. Okay, so it's actually 0229. Hmm.
I, I do think I'm missing a step, though. I think I'm screwing up something. Oh, okay, I think it worked. I should be able to go back out onto the home screen. There it is. It worked. All right, so let's go ahead and access this and uh, see if the um, amphetamine, or amphetamine, if you want to call it that, is, uh, is functional. It should give us a VSH menu. Might actually have to wait till the game's actually initialized. Oh, it was there. <laughs> oh. Kind of glitching out a little bit. I don't, I'm not sure what's going on. Okay, so it seems to be activated. Um, come on. Okay, so it doesn't like this game very much. But anyways. There we go. Uh, what's Zen mode? I don't even know. There we go. I'll just do this the whole time. Uh. <laughs> Game over already. Yay. Anyways. Uh, so yeah, that, that worked. It officially works. So if let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to change the screen now. To, um, let's see here. Where's my FTP clock? It's weird. Hmm. Whoops. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh Bozilla is right here. Okay. Oh wait a minute. Oh, wait, yeah, no, hold on. I think I was just looking at the wrong thing. There it is. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch over to that. All right, so on the screen you'll see um, all these things here, but hold on. Let me, uh, actually, let me go back here. I need to access molecular and activate the FTP client thing. FTP server. Okay, so now it's running. We'll go back to here. We should be able to access and copy these files to our computer. So, uh, let's see here. Oh, I need to quick connect. Okay. We'll go to UXO and we'll go to, uh, Vitamin. There's the game. I'm going to go ahead and download that. And it'll take a little bit of time, as you can see. But yeah, I mean, um, you know, this is just a way to back up your games instead of having to download them from PSN all the time. And then that also lowers the risk of, uh, you know, getting your account banned. So I feel like this is a, a really smart trick if you want to keep your PlayStation Vita or PlayStation TV hacked without it getting banned. I mean, I wouldn't consider this piracy because I'm not downloading other people's dumps, you know, and I'm not using those. Besides, I don't even know where you would find those anyway. But, 
I mean, I imagine in the future it's going to be just kind of like how PSP emulators or hacked PSPs would work. You could download a game like an ISO or CSO and in, and just, you know, pop it on a memory card, pop it into your PlayStation Portable and have any game you want to play right there. But uh, I haven't done that in a long time. I do have a PSP. I've had multiple PSPs that I've hacked. I used to hack people's PSPs for money. Um, but uh, But no, like... This is a really good step forward in the hacking community, I feel like, because, you know, people can dump their games and not have to worry to get on PSN and risk losing their account, you know, or having their account banned. Or, you know, I, I don't know, maybe in the future they'll have it where you can access the PlayStation Network or something and, uh, like, have a spoofer account or something. I don't know. All I know is I just see a lot of really good things happening uh, in the future for all this. Alright, so now the file is copied and transferred. And we can actually just go ahead and delete the install package off of uh, our PlayStation. That way, you know, there's no, uh, there's no issues with that. So, now I can go through to my UXO directory, go down to Vitamin. And delete the package. Easy fucking peasy. Doesn't get any better than that, right? So now we have a, a totally unencrypted version of Fruit Ninja installed where we can actually access the amphetamine hack, which I don't know, for this game doesn't seem to work right. And I maybe it's because this game has been whitelisted, you know? I'm not entirely sure. But uh, hold on a second, let's see. Can we Can we go up to the corner there, please? Thank you. So we still got another few minutes for this play or Minecraft update. Now I'm not entirely sure how I think it's about 300 megs or whatever for the original Minecraft game. So we could try and rip that. Uh, I don't know about updates. I haven't tried to do that because I mean I know for digital copies of games you can do it and it's just fine. But when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, physical copies of games, I guess I guess you can't rip. Or dump uh, updates. Which seems kind of weird, but I mean... I don't know. Let's let's go ahead and install this though. To actually, you know, initiate that it's there. I guess it's already installed, but you know. But yeah, I just wanted to try this just because it's a larger game, uh, file size wise. And for some reason, every time I boot up this game, it always takes a really long time for it to actually load. It just does this black screen. Oh, there it is. Okay. I'm downloading the update now. Mr. PlayStation thing. Alright, so the game's there. It's working. Blah, blah, blah. Whatever. So let's go ahead and try and dump it. So there it is. You can see it right there. Uh, so none of the updates are installed. So um, I'm just going to go ahead and dump the full game. Now I'm not sure if I'd have to actually dump the updates as well. Uh, in order for it to function properly. Like I don't know if like a a dump of the game with the... Like if, if I need the dumped update for it to work with the decrypted version of the game you know I'm not sure I'm not sure if that's like how that works exactly so 
just going to go ahead and try this anyway. Because I, I am kind of interested to see how this game would run with uh, increased clock speed. You know, I, I want to see how that would work because, uh, you know, I noticed the game, the Minecraft specifically, runs with a bit of um, a bit of lag. You know, there's a little bit of a frame rate drop. So, yeah, I'm not really sure how well it would work if it will do anything at all. Especially with this being a PlayStation TV console instead of a, like a PlayStation Vita console. <clears throat> so I really am, because the amphetamine uh, plug-in, I, I really am interested to see how well it would work with this game. I feel like it would be really great. Get some smooth frame rate, you know, get the game running really well. I don't know if it will cause crashes or not though, so, or if it will damage my console. It's kind of like try at your own risk sort of thing. But if I can, I will I will show how it works with the amphetamine plugin. But yeah, I mean, I remember it being a really long time before they had um, any kind of dumping software for PSP. So to see this on a PlayStation Vita, I mean, I know it's been out since like 2013 or 2012 or something like that. But to see this being a thing right now in this day and age, like right now, <laughs> uh, I just never thought this would be a possibility because I don't know. It's it like the last time this was an uh, like a thing you could actually do is like actually have like homebrew games or whatever. This was uh, over a year ago, almost about this time last year. So, so this is really, it's really cool. It's really cool that yeah, this is a possibility now. So I'm, I'm seeing a lot of things happening. I would love to see game mods or game hacks, you know, like, um, for instance, I would love to see a mod for Uncharted uh, Golden Abyss to where it could be like converted to... Uh, Something like like a mod that would make the game kind of like um, The Last of Us or something. Like a, a spin-off title or something. I think that'd be really cool. I mean, I'm not saying I'm going to do it. Because I, I, don't, I don't have the uh, intel. Like, I don't, I don't know how to do those sort of things, you know. But I would really love to see that be a thing. I would love to see game mods, you know. I really would. I think, I think this is a, a, a door... Uh, like a door, an opening for something really great, and I'd love to see what the community can create. I'd be so psyched for Last of Us on the go. That'd be so awesome. I'd pay money for that. I really would. I do have to say though, the progress bar and uh, you know showing the percentage of how much of the game is dumped, excellent. Uh, it's a, an excellent feature that they added to it. I mean, I know a lot of people probably didn't even use the original vitamin uh, leak or whatever. I I tried to use it, but I don't know. I think I was doing something wrong the whole time, or 
I think I had something to do with the um, 0.86 of the, or 0.80 of the shell of the uh, molecular shell that I was using. I, because I, I recall seeing something about how it was updated to 0.85 and that uh, that was like a separate thing. It wasn't part of the um, Henkaku thing. I, I think it was something separate that you had to add on your own, like manually. And how it said it could install two gig games. So to see that now it's at 0.86, I didn't even realize they had gotten it progressed that far. And I mean, I don't know. I, I got to go look at the the change log actually, which I'm going to do now. Okay, so as release four of August 30th, 2016. Fixed issue where YouTube did not work. Added support for PS TV and PS Vita Slim internal storage. Updated Vita Shell to eight point or point eight six. So that's that's great. And the PSN spoofing obviously still works. So you can still access without updating the three point six one and download all of your beautiful little games. Uh let's see. That's it. That's all it says. And it doesn't say anything about Vita Shell. Uh, let me let me look at the uh, Vita Shell info. Add a dialog box animation, and align dialog box Y to make it look better. Fixed wrong time for files and folders. Thanks to Persona Five. Fixed install underscore warning text crash. Added default files creating. Okay. Issues. Implement rename through FTP. Uh, size of two gig files displayed incorrectly. Yeah, that was an issue. That was an issue. Uh, Let me look into this because I would like to. Okay, while well, browsing Vita files through FTP, sizes of two gigs, two gig files look incorrect. Tested on FileZilla and Total Commander. Yeah, I've been using FileZilla for the FTP client. So I can actually look at the codes here. Like everything is here. So, I'm so confused though. And this is released by the flow. So, okay. Uh, I keep forgetting that. So, oh. Except, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to this. Oh no! Did it fuck up my thing? I don't know. Let me let me back out and go look in uh like the molecular. I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> I was so stupid. So Wipeout 2048 is a total of about 1.8 gigs, so it's under the 2 gig marker. Because I really want to say that uh, there is an issue with downloading or installing uh, larger files, you know? <clears throat> 129 megs. So I don't know if it actually if it did it correctly or not. So I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to uh I'm going to I'm going to dump it again because I'm not sure if it actually dumped correctly or not. And I'm not sure exactly if dumping updates would change. I'm going to do that too. I'm just going to I'm just going to have the game totally updated and then try it again.
But anyways, I'm going to cut here and uh, stop the recording. And I'll, I'll give you guys an update in another video. But anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.